What's going on? Welcome back to another Corset Cube Draft, where Overwhelming Stampede is the best card in the cube, apparently. Yep, I didn't want to return to details, but thanks. Probably just going to take Grave Titan here. It's got to be the best pick in this pack. Yeah, I don't really think anything really competing for it. Seaborn Music Cute, but you got to have cards to go with it. It's where Titan just... Seaborn Music Cute. Are you hitting things? Yeah. I f I'm fucking breaking your guitar. This is unbelievable. <laughs> you even got aggressive about it. I'm fucking breaking your guitar. <laughs> what do you have for dinner, man? We can have whatever we like. I kind of like mutilate. I also like Gideon. Gideon seems strong. Or Thunder Maw Hellkite. Play like Black Red Kill You. I like Black Red Kill You. I kind of need to make my spaghetti before my meat goes bad. I'll have to check it. Do you make spaghetti like seven times a week? It's I make it like once a week. It's fucking delicious. It's just learn Is black white better or black red? Something new, man. I already have all the ingredients for it. I gotta make the. Just learn something new, man. We're not gonna make it. Thunder Maw. Oh shit, and then there's a chromium. Now I feel. Now I feel so stupid. I mean, chromium's pretty expensive. Is it? You want a small pox him? Play Titan in a small pox? I don't want to huh? do that at all. Black man? Black man? Black male. Black male's trash. I don't actually know what it does. It just has braids on it, so I thought it was cool. Wow. Player reveals three cards. Oh, that's weird. So you only get that's yeah, that's pretty bad. It's like the worst version of that card I've ever seen. I kind of want chromium here. I'm taking chromium. We don't know what direction we're in yet. Oh, patient rebuilding. Oh boy. What's that one do? That's a banger. And so it's mill, but also draw. So even if you're not a mill deck, it's still just good. Yeah, the number of times I've taken. Oh wow. Nickel Bolas? Well, we could play ball lightning. Boy. Get the black red ball lightning. Oh, this deck. deck has everything I want to be doing right now. It's Gr it's Grixis Splash White. Do you slow cook the spaghetti sauce? No, I just rouse because it slaps. I've come to the conclusion that I'll never be able to make a sauce as good as rouse. Well, that's sad. It's real good, man. It's almost as good as Italian meat. Oh, what up? It's the it's the Lord of the Trophies. <laughs> oh man, aka Team J, bro. I don't even know what any of these emotes are supposed to specify, Team J, bro. You specify the hype that he's bringing you. I guess that's fair. Dragon Step. Oh wow, we do have three dragons so far. And a card that has a dragon on it. It's f like four dragons. Nico Bolas Tribal. I love this card. It's a lot of damage. Plus the art's so brutal. He just, he killed that man. That dude, he straight up murdered that guy. I like it because it does the same thing that other Soren does, kind of. And if you combo it with the Soren, you can just kill someone. You can kush kill someone? Kush kill him, yeah. That's fucked, dude. Denver's really die. getting out of control with the kush kills. I was considering dragon fodder because it's a nice early thing to get some. Bro, let's just vengeance him. Just do it. Vengeanceism? Yeah. We had a pretty good late game, though. I don't want to die. I'm taking Dream. No, oh, I don't want to die. Blade? Mm, Doom Blade seems good. I'll take a Doom Blade. And before we Silver play all the black it. players. Interesting. I, yeah. Quaker Silver's Waves pretty good seems, with Titan. Waker Waves is actually awesome. Um, look at that big old fish. Yeah, I'm taking this. Like it's never a seven-seven, but it could be if you need it. 
And you can just discard it to look at the top two, put one of them in your hand. So it's like just basically a two mana. It's like it's like anticipate for two cards instead of three. I did just pass the best card in the cube, which was overwhelming stampede. I want to take pillage. Unlimited blowing on someone's land is usually pretty brutal. We like mutilate. I mean, I don't know how many swamps we're gonna have. Oh yeah, I thought it was the other card that's mutilate, but just negative four, negative four, whatever oh, that card is. It's called languish. Languish, yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, prowess before prowess. Oh, Bloodfell Caves? Now we're talking. Beautiful. Does that gave me a life? For sure it does. Can you imagine there's look, ones that don't even gain lightning. you a life? Never too late. This play is like an 8-drop, you know, triple red? Yeah, for sure, man. Ball lighting, it's just as good in turn 8 as it is in turn 3. Have you ever been attacked by one? You're basically dead. Unless they have a 1-1 one, one first strike. I would like to let the stream know that I've spent like... <gasps> That's Oh, exciting. that came back? Nice. That I've spent close to $1,000 on magic cards in the last two weeks. Michael has no chill. Oh, that's playable. I'm sorry, what'd you say? That's playable. I'll buy bro. Maggie's got a gun. Oh, Dragon Horde? Dragon Horde seems insane in this friggin' deck. Not only do you have like three dragons to trigger it already, but it I know it draws you a card. What does dragon have to do with it? Whenever you cast a dragon, you put a gold counter on it, and that's how you draw oh, so the you cards. you can keep doing it? Oh, nice. It's also just a rock. I don't know if I should have first picked it there. I'm going to be honest with you. I got real excited about it because it helps us cast all of these three. Probably would have tabled. I had no idea what else in the pack because we were focused on it too high. What I got, I bought like a commander deck and a half plus a collector's box. I still need a couple cards for my one commander deck, but it's close. Michael, are we playing Omni Science? Oh, that's my favorite card. Is it really? I think it might be, yeah. I'm just going to take Shivan Reef here. Da, 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 da. Funny enough, the one commander deck I made with it, I'm taking apart because it's it's too good. And it does the same thing every game. It just gets omniscient to play and wins. What? I'm taking deck apart my omniscience deck. Hmm. But does it love you back? Well, it's good, but it just... It wins too consistently to play at more casual levels. Wow, so you're just too good. No, the deck is too. You gotta handicap unfair. yourself, or else you know people aren't going to play with you. That is languish, Michael. Nice. I think um, it might be the pick, actually. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Elk Tears. I actually started last week. There's a couple guys I play with. Um, it was the first sesh, but we're gonna try to do it every week. So, I also have a different group I can play with as well. Hence why I'm buying paper cards again. So if COVID ever ends, I'll have paper decks. Oh, we can have double Sorens. I like Swiftwater Cliffs. Bro, though. that's the combo. You Soren into Soren. Yeah, he coming back though. Commander decks are not sense. allowed to be too good for you to get complaints. No, no one really complained. I just, I don't know. When a deck has one note, you do the same thing every game. I don't know. It's kind of, it gets boring to me. What are you saying right now? Like the deck slaps, it'll crush you, but... Oh, he's talking about Commander still. Yeah, someone asked me about it, so... He said there's no such thing as having a too good of a deck. No such thing? But there is. When your opponents are not playing on a level, it gets real awkward. Commander decks are definitely allowed to be too good or too competitive. It's com or you get... Oh, oh, Commander decks are not allowed to be too good or you get complainers? Yeah, but... What... <laughs> I mean, like, if you're playing Commander and you're going to call people complainers because they want to play on an even playing field, like, that's kind of weird because it's totally a... Uh, that's why I'm building different decks. Casual format to begin with. Like, I plan on making 10 decks overall, 
and like two or three being super competitive and the rest just being like kind of fun. Although it's all my decks are good, they're just, you know, some are less brutal. And one of those being actual CEDH level, which I'll probably never get to play, but I want to have one. I'll take a Disciple, because I just like a Disciple. Dread Presence. Draw a card and lose a life. Deals 2 damage to any target and gain 2. This guy actually seems pretty good. I don't know how many, like, swamps Cards. we're going to have. Awesome but... if you have an Urborg. You got an Urborg? No, I think it was in the first pack. Dang it. That'd be banging. Sarkon seems pretty legit here. Thunder Monica Bullis Chromium. Yeah, we're taking Sarkon. And he does a little looty tooty. If I ever get up there next year, I'll bring my Urza deck. Oh, Urza is nasty. Well, we don't know where we're going to be next year. So. Yeah. There was actually a chance we could be back in Florida in Gainesville, so. Don't want to have to drive to Italian Mia every week. That'd be it's gonna be exhausting, but I'll do it. I'll <laughs> I'll I'll make I'll make the sacrifice. What are you willing to sacrifice? I'll just take terror here, I think. Tonebound Lich is fine. But I'm trying to minimize the number of like <laughs> next year is a month away. That's a good point. You two staying together? I mean, like, there's no point in Mike staying in Denver. So, yeah, like, if, if me and Katie move to, like, uh, wherever her residency ends up being, like, Mike's probably just going to come and make the rent easier. And I guess, I guess I'll just deal with them for another couple of years or whatever. Wow. How rude. My omniscience came back. Graps, though? Or Earthquake. Graps? Grasps. Grasps? Psst, what are you, fucking snake? Yeah. Also, Earthquake doesn't kill our flyers, which is cool. Mike already is my son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Spectre actually seems fine. Snow bead. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. Give me that Sorino. Will of you the need wisps. to get married to adopt, though. Wow. Crops, all right. If we're playing a lot of swamps. I wish that Erborg. I wish I did get that Erborg. Should we've been mono black? Should you have been my butthole? Born. Got him. Got Should him. Should you have been my butthole? Yeah, you got it. Ooh, agent of Trenchery? Trenchery? <laughs> what about Sky Diamond, bro? You ever been diamonding? You ever go diamonded with your daddy? <laughs> no, I've never been <laughs> diamonding with my daddy. <sighs> but yeah, it's probably Agent. I feel like it's Sky Diamond. Really? Yeah, I want to be able to ramp to my big things. Oh, another Lily. Oh, Rupture Spire. Oh, Underground Sea. Oh, 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 oh. That is not an Underground Sea. River. Whatever, man. You know what it is. They're very different. I want to take the river. But we're three color. What? Through a three color. Yeah, but Rupture Spire doesn't let you play a thing on turn two. You gotta True. cost mana, man. I don't care about all that. Plus, Rupture Spire is gonna come back anyway. Maybe. This was Reign of Revelation or whatever it is. We pick a city or Brasque and then we take it because you refuse to take damage from lands. That's fucking true, dude. It's been. <laughs> city of Brass is literally everything we want. I don't have any life. I guess this guy gains me too. This guy gains me life. This gains me life. Yeah, don't be a sissy. Come on, take it. It's gonna be. It's real Let's good. Let's cast for our, our spells. Deck. Let's cast our. There it is. That's the one I wanted. Oh, it's man. also Jason's ingenuity, though. This uh, is cheaper in one blue. Oh, it's also instant? Wow. Okay. Michael Drack, you said, though. And we I have mean, Sarkon and Dragon's Horde. Oh, bet. Oh, God. Trouble red, though. But it's also like eight mana, so or seven mana. That'll come back. Take the take the draw spell. 
Matt's talking about Star Compass. I don't think we need more fixing. We have five lands right now. Plus a Sky Diamond and Dragon's Horde. Like, I really think our fixing is actually pretty okay. Sarkon also adds double mana for Nicol Bolas. We take the draw spell. We don't need threats. I agree with it. Bogarden Hellkite! That's like before they printed, um... Dragon Lord with Harka? Yes. That's the one. It also has Flash, though. Oh, and it's definitely worth the extra man. Vampire Nighthawk also good. Yeah, you probably need early stuff. Yeah, I like the Nighthawk a little better. Does he like you back? Yes. Nice. You guys getting married? Going yes. steady? Yeah, we're going steady Distress? and we're getting married. Distress? Mm -hmm. I ain't never playing that. Why? What, two mana duress? No, but it's any card. It's like Potsies. Eh. Leon? Nighthawk is a Zendikar card. No, it was in of course at M13, stupid. What a dummy. Yeah, I actually kind of like Lillian here. He also has lifelink. Oh, Nocturnus. That's, where I, that's what I was looking at, too. This card's real good. So the Greyborn Muse. I like Greyborn Muse, actually. I'll take Greyborn Muse. We don't have a ton of zombies, so we're probably just drawing one a turn if we get life. Yeah, play but it. too many zombies, it actually starts to be like, oh, wait, right, I'm like, dead. Once you hit like three or four zombies, you're like, all right, I guess we're dead. Yeah, I used to have it in my CDC deck, but then I realized I had five zombies in play, and I drew five cards, but I'm like, oh, wait, what do I do? And then I died. We definitely could have been mono black, but too late now. Ooh, mind shatter. Uh, but Dragon Skull Summit. Oh, you're right. I don't see that for some reason. Because you don't see colors. I understand. Yeah. Because we also could add corrupt and like the other two swamp cards. Did you know apparently the the magician and illusionist Yuri Geller? prevented Abracadabra, or I guess his name is just Kadabra, from being printed on Pokemon cards and stuff, and now he's, why? like, lifted the ban? Hey, why did he do that? I don't know. I guess it's because it's it's probably based... I don't know. That's Now I'm really interested in the in the lore. <laughs> Monkey, ready for this? What about Sky Diamond, bro? You ever been diamonding? You ever go diamonded with your daddy? <laughs> oh, boy. Woo! What does that no, do? No, I've never been what? diamonding with my daddy. Well, Just you, take that card. Which one? What? The four drop. Angelic Destiny? No, the other one. Demon? Yeah. Eh. I'll Get the demon. I'll take it, but I don't... Look at our sideboard. is just mono black. Oh, this Liliana came back? Oh, my God. Also, I found about this new card today that I didn't know existed, but apparently it's making the rounds in Commander. Called Peer into Darkness. You use half your life and draw half your deck. I love paying a lot of mana and a lot of life to draw a lot of cards. Yeah, Yuri Geller back in like the... Was it like it was like the 60s or 70s? Yuri Geller was like the illusionist that James Randi always tried to, to discredit. And he did. Um... Ravenous Rats is kind of fine. It's whatever. Sift is good, too. And he did. <laughs> like, also, wasn't he, like, wasn't... Who was the... Rand, James Randi had, like, a bet. And he was like, I'll pay anyone this much money if they can do this or, like... It was to prove uh, magic exists, right? Or that you could read minds or something like that? Wasn't that? Yeah, I think it was something like that. Telekinesis or something like that, degree. Didn't we watch the thing on that? Bruh, streamer just straight up ignored his friend's comment about the card. What card? What are you talking about? Are you talking about Diamond and with Michael's daddy again? No, I mentioned this card, Peer in the Darkness. I didn't know about it today that I found out about. This looks like a mono black deck that we're splashing four colors and dragons for. Our mana base looks okay. Why don't you marry it? I wonder if we could cut... What if we... Okay, let's just theoretically say we cut all the color cards. And we just played black. And then we get Mutilate. I think we still play Diamond even though it taps for colorless, basically. Oh, Skyscanner can stay. So we need 
We could play Corrupt. Wow, Corrupt seems real good all of a sudden. Emulate. I don't think we play Demon. I think we do. We don't have anything to sacrifice. We have Sky Scanner and, like, Ravenous Rats. If we don't draw Calling these, we don't have a creature to, to sacrifice. Well, we could play Disciple and, and Rats and Demon. Distress, Sign and Blood. I just don't think this deck looks nearly as good. I don't know, man. Thank it's looking you. pretty good. We don't have any win cons, though. Soren into Soren, bro. Oh, what up, the Ziggs? Welcome back, my Does dude. Does Beacon and Rest hit their creatures too, or just ours? Uh, it's any. It's any. Put target artifact from a graveyard on the battlefield. So we duress them and we beacon them. Game over, not bro. Duress, Michael. Sign and blood in there. And a Skellington. Jack Skellington. There's your sacrifice alley for your demon to win the game. Ostracize could be good too with Beacon of Unrest. Crypt Rats is just a... No, that card's great. Yeah, that card is great. I'm going to save this as a black version. i take a little snippet of it. Oh, you can just make one and two. Oh, uh, you can't... What? Did it... Okay. There you go. And... Wait, we'll save it. Okay, let's make a new version. Grixis. Alright. Grigmas. Actually, we'll just call it dragons, because... Wait, we're still trying to play Chromium? We're going four color? Yeah, man. You made me take this city of brass, Michael. Plus, we have Sarkon, and we have Dragon Horde. So. Okay. Good enough. Alright. One, two... Pillage... Pillage is probably good. I mean, it also destroys artifacts, so I think we play it. Let's sort by converted mana coost. Really on a good. Languish, probably. Languish, good. Nighthawk, good. Spectre, fine. Liliana, fine. Terror, Doomblade. Mar Marauder's pretty good. Marauder. I don't actually like Fleshback Marauder that much. Why? I don't know. Usually because they just sack their worst fucking creature. Sometimes, though, against certain decks, is like the best card ever. Definitely Soren and Soren and Grave Titan. Soren and Soren and Grave Titan. Patient rebuilding is the banana card. Probably Rain. Rain? Rain of Revelation. Oh yeah, that's card. That's a good one. Um, I do like. I don't know how many swamps we're gonna play. Is the problem with this? Like, if we have like four swamps, yeah, but I just don't think a, it's worth it. This is a four mana three three. It's still fine. In a cube, I don't think that is fine. This isn't a regular draft format. I like Distress. Alright, I'll play Distress. How about Grasp? What's that one? Grasp of Darkness? Oh, that's a good one, yeah. I'm missing anything? Also, Beacon could be good because we have this Liliana so we can discard like Grave Titan and then reanimate it on yeah, 5. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, I like that. We gotta, I mean, now we gotta make a cut though. Now we're, now we're cutting things. Um. Okay, so we have Rats and Spectre and Distress actually, which is pretty good for discard. Yeah. I'm gonna take out Dragon Fodder. Dragon Fodder seems stupid. Yeah, no. I don't, think need it. I don't care about Dragon Fodder. I don't think one ones are gonna save us. Are we sure Mono Black isn't better? No, we're not sure. But also, this looks more fun. And I like having fun. This version, I think, is more powerful if you can cast your spells. And Mike B just wants to have fun. Oh, so, red sources, you have one, two, three, four, five. Seems this is seven red cards. sources. Yeah. Um, Probably cut a red easily here. I don't. I don't want to do that because like we want double red on three. Oh, yeah. You like do Sarkon's want red. important. Plus we have Dragon Sword. Let's not forget. Um, black. We have one, two, three, four. Seems like a lot. I'm going down to ten. Ten's fine. Blue. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't need a white. Seven. So this is like this is seven, seven, ten, which I think is actually really good. Yeah, I like that. Oh, we also do get a white for free. Do we want to play a white, though? Do not, we need it? Not really. I just feel like it's going to be so bad most of the time. And we have, like, other ways. Because we have Soren, Goldie, and I think it's just City. Soren Black. Yeah. Goldie and City. All right, let's just do this. 
Mana looks actually pretty good. I mean, for draft. I didn't account for the fun value. All right, let's play this round. Yeah, I mean, we're only playing like one, two, three, four, five, six non-black cards, which is really interesting. Join that match. Do, 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 do. The black deck has no lands. Oh, I'll have to add swamps to it. <coughs> you like swamps, Michael? Me. Why not just play mono black? Because this is more fun. Well, so we're not sure which deck is actually better. Obviously, the mana is easier for the mono black, but... Good point. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'd rather cast Nicobolus and Sarkon and Even if you Chromium. lose that high of casting Nicobolus. Fuck, there's nothing like it, man. This is a great hand. Oh, they went to six? They can't win. I almost built the Nicobolus commander deck, but oh, just, didn't we get the play turn wasn't good two. enough. Play turn two ravenous rats. With the legends, Nicobolus? Yeah, the one that flips. Oh, what about Rav Oh, so that's not legends. So oh. I don't know why you Oh, the said old school one? No. <laughs> yeah. You I mean I was definitely considering sideboarding into the into the mono black version, yes. They're trying to wager whether the, the counter spell is better. Or if a random card in their hand that they get to want, they get to discard is better. They chose the counter spell, because now we don't get this one one. So, oh god, I, I played against this card like ninety times. That card it's is extremely really frustrating. Annoying. That's whenever they draw a card, you mill a card, right? Yeah, mill two cards. Oh, it's two. Yikes. Yeah. Cool. Good old Moo. Does anyone like Border? Yeah, there's probably some freaks out there. Weirdos. Yes, there are black border versions of that card, though. I own one. I don't know what set, though. It's not like white border because I don't know. I just it's awkward. And there's not enough of them. It just looks weird. Well, they hit beacon of unrest. Cool. So it's really sick that they hit the the beacon card and not the uh, card to get things with. Oh, they bounced my baron and made a bird. Birds and barons living together. <laughs> so negative X for X the number of cards in your graveyard? All right, well. One, two... Three, four. They just have nothing going on. So we can actually plus a on a discard languish. Terror this this thing. She goes down to three. I think it's probably better to just clear the board here. I'm a grown ass adult, so I'm just having pie for dinner. You can do that. So she goes to five. I don't want to discard languish is the problem here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, chromium. I don't think we have a way to get that back. <laughs> I got excited for nothing. This, oh yeah, beacon only goes, it only shuffles in if you cast it, right? Yeah. It's not like uh, next to fate where it just shuffles Correct. no matter what. You ever make any progress in becoming a software engineer between now and the last stream? No. I haven't gotten to that yet. What's the problem, Michael? I have to pay off my loans first. Also, I'm not sure if I want to go back to college or not. I'm on the fence currently. Oh, they're just going up to five here. It's fascinating. Don't think we're going to need that language. Well, if they make a bird, we do. A single bird? What, what are they, they make doing? two birds. They have no cards in hand? This costs six, so... I don't know what they're doing there. <laughs> yeah, nice. That was they, a good try. They good. don't know how it work. I mean, if we had a land next turn, we can go land Soren's Vengeance. Um, plus Lily. Hopefully we draw Soren, play Soren, make them to 10, draw a land. Oh, that would be insane. That's the play. Oh, you're just going to ponder here. Okay. This card's really obnoxious. It's pretty good. What up, TPO? Yeah, Lily Emblem will get back a lot of things. It's just a um, Praetor, right? A Praetor? Yeah, you get a creature you upkeep. Uh, to be in combat. Does it get haste? Yeah. Nice. Did they choose to shuffle? They chose not to shuffle. Made the bird. Sounds good. Druidic Satchel. Okie dokie. Well, that is unfortunate. It is a land. In a weird way. Well, Liliana's going to die next turn. One way or the other. So I guess we kill the bird, play the sky diamond, and pass. Dogs are cool, man. Dogs are cool, Michael. Sure. Oh, they have that too. Sweet. Are you coming up here? Soren is actually in our graveyard, unfortunately. <clears throat> Yep, pretty sure we're just dead. That's fun. Sphinx's Tutelage is a really fun card. I think they forgot to put fun in this cube. Cats are cooler? Mm. Hmm. I don't know. I think when Mill's good, it's always strong because you have a 40 card deck, you know? I wish Will Mill didn't exist. Wish you didn't exist. Damn. Got him! Oh, it's like that? Oh. Disgusting. I've seen a cat riding a bigger cat like a noble steed. Sounds majestic. Oh! Back up again, huh? Scared me, little pooch. <laughs> yeah, your little gorilla chest. Gorilla chest. Mm -hmm. A little gorilla belly. You do have that. Wait, where did our deck? Where did our other deck go? Oh, moto. Oh, because it's not it's not legal, so I guess they don't have it there. 
No, that mean weird. Oh, we can't do I just it. Gotta That's add. annoying. I mean, we could do it manually, but... Oh, Wall is jealous. <laughs> Hello, boys. Oh my god. They're too pure for this world. So precious. Well, I don't think this hand's gonna do it. The problem with Mill is like you can't interact with it really, for the most part. I do like Beacon of Unrest. Thank you, Chip Six Drop guy. It's like playing against combo, but instead of it happening all at once, you have to like fucking be like, ugh, ugh, ugh you know. Yeah, every turn you have Thank to be you. miserable. Liliana seems good. Shua Garner, welcome back. Chain's Addiction, really appreciate you guys. Welcome back. You guys are wonderful. And also the problem is like if you're playing a Grixis deck, you're playing you're playing the three colors that don't have access to enchantment removal. Right. So you're just like, all right, I guess I have Except for the a one, ten card deck. The one card they printed recently, but that's not a core set card, so. You got mana leak? No, no mana leak. It's also really weird they decided to randomly give black one enchantment removal yep. spell. And they draw it every game. We're just helping them in. I mean, what are you going to do? I need bodies on the board. I thought bodies. Here comes Wrath of God. Ready? I thought bodies. I thought bodies. Molly, let's... That guy's a ways off. Well, at least we have bacon in hand, which is good. Bacon? Bacon. Kevin Bacon and Ham. We also have a pretty sizable amount of dudes on the board, too. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have nine damage here. I mean, we could just kill them if they don't have five mana Wrath of God. Persuasion. Sure. Remember that thing about how we can't remove enchantments? I do remember that. That sounds mm. familiar. Where am I, where my red mana at again? Doesn't exist. Hmm. Never has. And before someone was this way, play by the black Now you're just taking three here, huh? And before what, Michael? Someone complains that we're not playing mono black. Oh, actually, we should have. Oh, dang it, we messed up. I messed up. Should have attacked with Rat, too. They would have blocked. We could have played Beacon of Unrest to get back to Red Presence and then played the Swamp to kill this guy with two damage. What Swamp? The one I played. Oh. Hmm. Well. Oh. That's pretty good. So if we alpha, they block here. They take three, four, five, and then they only take three. So it's basically the same as just attacking with this guy. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> no, you're just gonna go to you're gonna go four here, huh? I'm gonna condemn it. Jokes Rude. on you. You're trying to mill us, <laughs> <laughs> idiot. It's like when the aggro deck plays swords. We're just doing our job, man. <clears throat> well, that's a big boy. That is a big boy. It also kills them next turn. And they milled Beacon again. Because why wouldn't they? They milled a lot of things. Freak of Libation. Isn't that like a sack thing, though? That's not a target, right? Unless I'm thinking of some other card. You'll never touch my Chromium. Oh. So if they block here, they take one, two, three, four, they take two. Why don't you have trample? Why can't I kill you? 
We just try to kill them. Oh, they have shown us mana leak. Stop, stop, stop. Yep, of course they have it. Why wouldn't they? They, only, they have three cards. They have to have it, right? It's basically impossible that they don't have it. Pretty sure we're dead next turn. They mill us for five. So. Turn a non legendary card. Don't think we have anything. Worth it. Eh. Oh. It doesn't give us lethal, like it just puts us at six. Oh it's six, yeah, not seven, you're right. So I'm pretty sure we're just seven, dead. Here. I thought I had three power. Cool. We have three cards in our library. We have one card? Oh, because they draw, and then this... Yeah, cool. So. Yep. Cool game. That was fun. I got to play all my cards. I got to interact favorably with my opponent. My opponent played more than three spells a game, so that was good. I think I think that that the mill strategy is a very uh, it's a rewarding strategy for the for this cube. Nah, let's make our life easier. Yeah, this cube's mill is vintage cube storm. I agree with that actually. That's that's the, I was gonna actually make that comparison. Watson, why are you being so lovey? You never like this. At least for me. Well, maybe he knows that you're just a shell of a man, Michael, and he feels bad. Did you win round one? No. No, it's very hard to win when your opponent mills you out and you're playing a deck that is in the color combination that has no way to deal with enchantments. So... What would happen if they just change the rule that you don't lose when your library is out of cards? That's interesting. But would they keep the rule or if you draw, you lose? Well, no, because you don't... That's the rule. There is no rule that you lose when your library is out of cards. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it's like, oh, you got me out of cards. I guess that's over. Yeah, I don't think they're ever going to change that rule. There'd be too many people that would hate it. Yeah, the problem is it just doesn't affect enough decks or people. Like, Mill is just not a huge, hugely popular archetype, so... Oh, I like this. How's the manage for, like, tiebreakers and stuff? What about tiebreakers? Or draws, whatever you want to call draws? it. Draws? What are you saying right now? I actually don't know what you're saying. Like, you know, when the game comes down to all the marbles, and that's the only thing left, is who draws first? Who draws first? Who draws no card first? 
Drawls? Drawls Messenger? Mm -hmm. I got you. Oh, good. Goody goody gumdrops. So one thing I've also noticed about this cube is that there a there are way too many enchantments that are like game winning, like Sphinx's tutelage and patient rebuilding. Um, and there's also not a ton of ways to deal with planeswalkers because most of the answers to planeswalkers, like Hero's downfall set, or yeah. Vraska's contempt, are not in core sets. Yeah, there's like a blue ring, I guess. That's about it. Man, I wish we had a pillage right now. <laughs> Man, you ain't kidding. I guess we actually board pillaging against him. I definitely don't think planeswalkers are bad for magic at all. I actually enjoy planeswalkers and the interaction and the decision trees that they they provide. I mean, I think I think to deduce that like because planeswalkers are in a, a very niche core set cube and there are not a ton of ways to deal with them in core sets to 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 lot to the the logical conclusion that planeswalkers are bad from that is just it, it's very fallacious. I think not... they've printed too many. Yeah, but most of them are unplayable. So that doesn't really matter. Right, like I'm never like, "Oh my god, there's so many planeswalkers in every format." It's just not the case. It just doesn't Also, like you can make an argument with like Jason Mind Sculptor and Oko being too good, but like that's just a they messed up. That's not because of planeswalkers, it's because they're just like they could not be planeswalkers. Right, you could like, say they... there should be artifacts in Magic. Have you seen Black Lotus and Grim right, Monolith? Exactly. Wow, right. they're insane. What's the holiday rate for bad deck submissions? <laughs> Dave, whatever you prefer, buddy. I, I trust you to to use your good judgment. Walkers with static abilities are a problem. Walkers are fine otherwise. Again, it's one of those things where like most of the static ability planeswalkers are totally fine. Then there's things like Narset, which is not fine. That's just a design that's just like a bad design. That's not Planeswalkers that's completely planeswalkers. change the game. Now when a planeswalker hits a battlefield, it's pretty much deal with it within a turn cycle or lose. I don't think that's true at all. I don't think deal with a planeswalker within a, within a turn cycle or lose is is definitely the the way games play out. Um, I think, yeah, certain planeswalkers, sure. But again, balanced planeswalkers, no. But also, you know that. You know that now, and going forward, you can build your deck according to that. I, I now have no way to deal with a Nicol Bolas in this weird deck. But, um... Yeah, like, I mean, that's just, like, now you know that, though. You have no excuse to not build a deck around that, because that's a that's a thing now. You know what I mean? Like, All right, but you can also make the same argument for, like, a Titan. If you can't deal with a Titan within a certain cycle, right, you're also you probably lose. dead. Right, of and that's course. that's a creature. Bad design is bad for magic? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Overpowered cards. Why? Stop sniffing that. What's he sniffing, Michael? You know what he's sniffing. Is he sniffing your genitals, Michael? He's always sniffing that. He's a he's a real sniffer. He is a real sniffer. No, stop. I will 100% agree that planeswalkers that fundamentally change the rules of the game uh, for one player, like three mana Teferi, Narset, things like that. Yeah, those are like bad examples of the static abilities. Though. Like they shouldn't exist. Because they stop magic from functioning properly. Magnets from functioning properly? Yeah, how do they work? Buddy, I don't even know. Fires of Bolas runs a course that flip Bolas Dragon God and OG Walker Bolas and other walkers like oh that sounds it sounds pretty banging can it beat modern decks though <clears throat> oh and Cruel Ultimatums man Cruel is one of my favorite cards me too you ever love the high of casting Omniscience and playing a Cruel Ultimatum off of that what Omniscience Omniscience who Omni science. Oh, Omni science. It's a good one. Look at our two mana white bordered cards here. 
push it to the limit. Well, I tell you, we was just simple country folks playing our two mana white bordered creatures. <laughs> oh god, they're gonna play Garrick again? Oh wow, this is really good. Mm. Where's that counter spells when you need? Where's anything when you need it? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me. Me. Casting omniscience is great and all, but have you ever played a two one on turn one? Wow. Make them discard their cards. <laughs> I have cast a 2 1 on turn 1. It was not as nearly as impressive as I thought it would be. I played this one deck where I went um, Goblin Guide, attack, deal them 2. Next turn, untap, play 3 Delver of Secrets, and they all flipped in the next turn. It was brutal. Their deck seems good. I thought our deck was super sweet. Turns out, uh... No. They're too phased. Yeah, I really think this format's, like, rewards ramping. It feels like there's too many threats and not enough answers. A problem with a lot of unbalanced cubes. Like, it has all the cool powerful cards, but it has nothing to deal with those powerful cards. The Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Supreme Court has dismissed the lawsuits from Representative Mike Kelly and candidate Sean Parnell to declare universal mail-in voting unconstitutional in the state and deny the votes of the majority of Pennsylvanians who voted by mail. Oh, thank goodness. Remember when Republicans complained about voter fraud? And, and then, then they just tried them, to steal the election? And, and then it was them election. doing all their voter fraud. And the gotcha. few cases of voter fraud were actually Republican voters. Yeah, who saw that coming? One, two, three, four, five, six... Well, green is very, very good in this cube. Certainly seems like that. Yeah, we're gonna we're on track for a one-two, my dudes. It's almost as if there's no real voter fraud happening, and uh, all and right, that it's actually really hard to do and super legal. Here we go. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh wow! Beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's let's do this first to see what we can hit. Is one of them um that card that exiles all cards on the stack? Oh no, one of three of them were lands. Oh. Close though. Yeah, it was really close. Oh yeah, mind break trap? If we had a mind break trap there, huh? Can you even imagine? That wouldn't actually work because they get to play them at different times. Yeah, they're not all on the stack, they're just they're just removed. So we'd only get one. Yeah, look at that. More Planeswalkers, guys. No, I just think you're if you're making a corset cube with a ton of Planeswalkers from corsets, you should probably include adequate answers to Planeswalkers, even though there aren't any in corsets. So, I don't know. I don't know what I've been told about the Mississippi. You don't know what you've been told about the Mississippi? <laughs> yeah. Huh. How can you? Know, how would you know though? How can you tell? Uh, I quest that every day. You quest it? Hey man, I don't think there's a card in our deck that can stop them from winning. The only, the only, our only out. Wait, hold on. Not Do we have a land this turn? Yeah. Play Soren and put him to ten. Well, I mean, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking of doing that, but they have Yarak, which is which has lifelink. So as long as they attack this guy, I mean, we're just playing it out. It's fine. It's not a huge fucking deal. You could hold the Soren. That no, doesn't matter. Let's get a black and a red. Problem is they still have a active Golos as well. What's a Golos? What's a Golos? I don't know what you're saying right now. Am I saying it wrong? <laughs> no, but you, I made you think you were. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Golos. How many quests do you have a day? Uh, my quest is work, and I it's really long. It's really long. That's what she said. About your quest? Yeah. Oh, it's okay, Michael. They only hit Grave Titan this time. And two lands? That's basically a whiff, buddy. Oh, they get double triggers because of... Yeah. That's good. Four zombies. Oh, God. I mean, their deck is sweet. 
I mean, it's got goals and things to think with goals. My problem with goals is you can't play counter spells with them because they make it awkward. But then I realize you can just build them to where you jam so many threats. Who needs counter spells? What does this bitch even do when he flips? 10 damage to a creature or planeswalker. I mean, it's not all creatures, unfortunately. Can you imagine? That'd be sick. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. You're disgusting. What you need to draw is your own Golos, and then Golos to flip that card that destroys all your opponent's creatures and planeswalkers. Or just... <sighs> or have that. That would also work. Although I think it's 9 mana, so... Trump and Azalea is now 1 to 39 in court. Turns out publicly decrying fraud, and yet presenting zero evidence of it in court wasn't quite the winning play they made it out to be. Yeah. Did I dye my hair? No. Does my hair look different? I think they were making a joke because you had a hat on. Oh. We are 0-2. We haven't won a game yet. We got milled out in the first round. Had no answers to a mill deck, except for like boarding into like 60 cards, maybe. Which I guess we could have done, but I just didn't. Uh, and then we lost to uh, <laughs> Golos, Planeswalker, Nicol Bolas, Garrick, <coughs> Apex Predator, Garrick on turn three every game. Uh, Planeswalker deck. So, not our best matchups. But, you know, I believe in our, our dragon deck. I, I do. I, I have to channel my inner Kibler here. Who knew you couldn't win a case without evidence? You learn something new every day. It's true. It's true. Uh, yeah, okay. I haven't lost the best card in the cube. What was it? What is it? Stampede. Oh, God, you're right. Man, God, Mike, you're really like... <laughs> fucking really, really holding on to that joke I made. I mean, we lost to it literally two rounds in a row, so... Mini Crater Hoof is pretty good. Apparently. Dragon deck on my way. What? He's got a dragon. Did you guys know there is actually a mini Crater Hoof? That they came out in this weird set? What weird set? Is it a six drop? And when it comes into play, all your creatures oh get God, plus three, seriously? plus three, and trample. What are you saying right now? I, I I played this because if we draw any blue or red, we get to play Nicol Bolas, which is way more important to me than having a Nighthawk on board. Well, we got an Urborg, and the one thing we have is Swamps. Cool. Languish is just super cool. So double blue, can't play that. Blue, yep, all right, so... We're actually just going to play language, or we're going to discard the language here. Keep on playing lanes. And no, Enry's Forerunner is a different card. Yeah, it's it's a guy, the giant from Game Nights. Yeah, that card. Game? That's Earthshaker a, Giant? That's yeah, I think that's the name of it. That's not a set. No, there's a set called Game. Just there's a magic set called Game yeah, Nights? Yeah, look up Earthshaker Giant. Are you guys, what are you... Middle one. Game night, not knights. Six six for six with trample. When it enters the battlefield, the creatures get plus three plus. Oh well, giving creatures plus three plus three isn't like crater hoof style. That's just like that's just overrun. Yeah, but kind of like a mini one. Hmm. Well, there's tons of things that are mini crater hoofs then. Yeah, but the, there's not a lot of creatures that do that. There's like enraged foreigners, this and crater hoof. There's a lot of cards that do overrun stuff, but not a lot of overrun creatures. Creatures you control. I don't think you need to put it in text, but. Well, then, then it's going to search for any card that has the word creatures you oh, and you're right. control, yeah, like yeah. which is got a ton of cards. Plus three, plus three. Green. Hello, my dear. Hello. Well, don't even pick green. Why? You don't need to. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, well, we, we, want to, we want on a creature, right? Right, yeah. Okay, hold on. Man, I love this site. 
I do too. Okay, so Azuri gives all your elves plus three. Kamal gives uh, creatures you control plus three plus three. Yeah, the, new the new Kamal. The new Kamal is real good. Megantic Sliver gives your slivers thing? plus oh. three plus three, Michael. So there's really only two other cards that do generic like that. Goodbye, my dear. What? I said goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. You seem busy. Come on. Well, we're just trying to figure out things, you know? Oh, good. They got a Soren. A Gideon. Well, that's a strategy. God, I don't want to discard any of these cards. I think it's Nicol Bolas, unfortunately. All right. Well. Well, shit. We're also, we played like two control decks. And we have like Grasp, Terror, Doomblade, Languish in our deck. And they're just not very good against these control decks, unfortunately. I think it's just a Grixis problem. Grixis is either really good or just never good enough. Shut up. I hate when you say things like that. I, really I feel hurtful. the pain too. It's my favorite color combo, but Shut it's up. just super outclassed by like Saltai and Esper and stuff. What do you think about half Diet Coke, half Grenadine? Half Grenadine? <laughs> You're going to die. Are you threatening me, Michael? You get like instant lethal diabetes. No, but it's Diet Coke, Michael. Oh, well, then it's fine. Did you hey, also, look. Is it also diet? Do you know how much, you know much Grave Titan costs? Six. You know how much five? We, yeah. Yeah, yeah, boy. That's right. Well, maybe we'll get our emblem. Then we can get back one creature. Actually, maybe we will get our emblem. Probably not now, though, because they're just going to attack Liliana. But maybe in, the, maybe in the future. Maybe they'll forget that he can attack. What about... Boulder, do you assume you're ever casting that rebuild? Well, we need we, we one blue. You know, you know what I'm saying? I guess one blue might be easier than three black or whatever. It's one blue. It's three black. Do, 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 oh, they just... What? Hmm. I guess they technically still have a turn, right? It's minus eight, not seven? No, it's minus seven. Oh. And if they don't have an answer, they done messed up. What? Did they done mess up? They only have one card. Oh, it, it'll be an answer to the Planeswalker. Oh, apparently Corrupt can target anything. <laughs> well, didn't know that. I thought it was only creatures or players. Uh, I mean, why wouldn't you attack Liliana and then Corrupt? I don't, just, I don't know. Look, it's another Swamp. We've drawn five of, like, six Swamps in our deck. Yeah, now we're just getting rid of our hand and keeping Liliana alive, because this actually might be fine. Like, we have an active Liliana and a Grave Titan. Gideon doesn't really work here. What? Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Gideon doesn't do shit. Like, they, if they plus it, he's dead. If they negative it, he's dead. Okay, so we're going to... He's dead. Languish, Terror, and Grass. Remember when they killed our Nighthawk, when they could have killed our Liliana, and then, and then... They could, they could have actually attacked Liliana and corrupted Liliana and just killed her. Right. And, and then, then we'd have a Nighthawk. On top of that, cares? if we didn't block and killed Liliana, or almost did, they would have Corrupt left for our Grave Titan. Did it all wrong. It's all, it's all happening wrong. If Fleshbag Marauder was Plague Crafter and I could make them sack a Planeswalker, I'd play it for sure. But it ain't. Did they have... Do they have Urborg? Yeah. Oh, they did? So Corrupt seems like it's better here. All right, so I'm, are you picking boogers out of your nose? No. You fucking pig. You disgusting pig. I had to get to it, man. I don't tell you. Gross. Didn't even get to it. Wasn't even worth it. <laughs> I should just kept my finger out of my nose. It's I kind of those stuckies, you know? Stuckies. You know what I'm talking about. I do. I do know about the stuckies. Isn't stuckies the name of a store? Sure. Oh, this has a lot of colors. Not a swamp in sight here. Also, oh. if, our, if our Sarkon survives, it's a turn four Chromium. Man, such bad value. Turn if only five we got chromium. a Mana Confluence, that when we play the Urborg, we don't have to take damage anymore from our land. That would be such a, such a privilege. 
Oh. It's that slight interaction that makes mana confluence better. Oh yeah. Well, also like there's there was always the issue back in the day of like they use their icy manipulator to tap your city of brass and just deal you oh, a damage yeah. every turn. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not it's not a big it's not a big deal now. This is actually really good because we have a lot of lands. Yeah, I don't think card. the icy manipulator play comes up, but the Urborg play definitely comes up in commander. You ever get to the bottom and you don't realize it and then you're just stuck in air? It happens all the time. It's man. really unpleasant to At me. At least three times a day, probably. Because you don't know. It's not see-through, you know? It's not see I can't see anything, man. But I don't think they have see-through thermos technology. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you don't. Wow. I think we're at 1-2. I feel good about the 1-2 potential. Give me, a, give me a pillage. I'll take that guy. That's a good dude. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4. Pillage <sighs> killed their ring. We don't have anything else to do with mana. We could play Nicol Bolas. Unfortunately, I wish this said add two mana in any combination to cast dragon spells or activate dragon abilities, because then you can use it to flip this guy. Right now, that would be can. sweet. Also, I feel like they do that a lot with like creature specific abilities like that. Usually, it's got to be Nicol Bolas here, right? I think it's loot Nicol Bolas. Probably not. Yeah, Frank, Frank and FrankandFrankLaport.com, David, would be fantastic. Um, Yeah, we can just play Nicol Bolas and loot, I think. We have enough lands that I'm not, like, super concerned. This is just Ravenous Rats. Oh, we have Ravenous Rats, Liliana Spectre, and Nicol Bolas. So we have, like, a 2-3-4 discard. That's pretty good. Let's get rid of... I'm going to get rid of Underground here. Because we already have City for White on Chromium. Back in the day, one of the best combos was Ice Manipulator and Royal Assassin. Yeah, back then you had to have, you had to have a two card combo just to kill a creature. <laughs> Dark Steel Ingot. They have two cards in hand, and we have five and a Planeswalker and a creature. And I hate that card. What? Everyone overvalues that card. Dark Steel Ingot. Yeah, and they play it in every commander deck. Like no one's gonna kill your stupid mana rock, man. Right. No one cares. Don't play three mana rocks. They're all bad, except for. Coalition Relic, because it taps for two. And Chromatic Lantern, because it makes all your lands rainbow lands. Rainbow lands! But outside of that, they're usually bad. Let's go white, black. Unless they tap for more than one, like uh, Assault Monolith. Yeah, that's a good example. Or uh, any rock that taps for two that costs three, that's different. I think this is probably, Chromium is probably game over. They have to have a board wipe, but if they do, we still have like tons of gas. Michael I'm more talking about rocks that are three mana that only tap for one. Anything that taps for two plus that costs three or more, that's different. Yeah, we're talking about the three three cost one mana rocks. Like the uh, key runes or whatever? Ugh, that's terrible. The clue like, stones too? The like, bad, yeah, that's what yeah, I mean. The bad, the bad signets. Yeah. Like you need, to, you, need, you need to cost two and add one or you need to do something real cool for three. I think it... Like chromatic. I, I watched in this video. I can't remember. I think it was um, Commander Quarters. Your rock should cost whatever it costs. You should at least be able to get half back. So if it costs four, it should make two. I agree with that. If yeah. it costs three, it should make two. Like six should make yeah, three. Six should make three. Right. Like Hedron. Oh, for fuck's right. sake! Really? Does it get hexproof? Mm, yes. Commander Sphere is a corner case scenario because you can sack it to draw a card. So they're probably gonna so it might be worth Sarkon. it. But even then, eh, I don't play it. But I think Commander Sphere is better than yeah, Ingot. That's good. Oh, actually, let's draw. Can we just draw a swamp for once? Ravenous ratties. Ravenous raids. You want to come over and see my ravenous raids? I really don't. <laughs> they have one card in hand? Sure, I'll rat them. And part of me is considering buying a Mox Diamond. <laughs> I also need a Mox Diamond for my cube. Think they give us a discount if we buy two at the same time? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure because there's really no market for them. You know, like no one's really looking for mox diamonds. Yeah, there's no. Re yeah, and they probably can't the sell a second one if we don't buy them together. Right, yeah. So that makes sense. I mean, yeah, they're probably four hundred dollars for the old, and no one plays them, right? So they'll probably give us a deal. Yeah, and there are, people are. I think people are actually having a really hard time keeping them in stock to, or uh, selling them rather. Yeah, it's weird that they're so expensive. You know, you think they'd go down because no one. You would, them. yeah, for sure.
What's wild is like that's not even any any legacy decks, right? Or vintage decks? Like it's pretty much it's just lands, competitive right? commander, right? Oh, lands, sure. But like other than that, it's pretty much just for like high end power level commander decks. It would literally go in every deck I play, though. Oof. Part of me is thinking about pulling the trigger. Yeah, you might as well just get a play set. You can put one a play track. set? No, buddy, that's one. It's I'll... also a good investment. Like, if you yes. hold on to it and keep it in a sleeve and don't actually fuck it up. I don't that's... think they're... That's a reserve list, right? So it's not getting reprinted. No one's reprinting Mox Diamonds, yeah. yeah. Plus, it's probably too powerful for them to ever reprint anyway, even if it wasn't. Oof, like it. I'm not going to play any more guys because we did see Wrath of God or Day of Judgment, one of the two, in their in their first game. I'm a fan of buying multiple cards for the same commander deck if they're cheap. But when they're $400, we're only buying one. <laughs> we'll just take one Ooh, card and put it in the other. Let's get rid of Saltwater Cliffs here. Oh, we just won the game. 1-2. I'm okay with it. Our deck seems sweet, even though we played against two very, very uh, very good decks that we just didn't have answers to. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out ManaTraders.com. CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, you can use Frank 5 to get 5% off. Mana Traders, you can use the link and promo code down below to get 15% off your first three months. It's a great deal. It's a great way to play Modern or Standard or Pioneer. Any any set you want, any format you want on Magic Online. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.